Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gaff. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. Party member he forgot to mention is about my dog. He's coming with us too, isn't he? He was following us just now. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? Alright. I think this is the direction I have to go. I, I'm not sure. I hope it is. I've never been here. Oh, what was that? Ah, that dog. Oh, it's a tarantula. I thought it was going to be like some kind of secret in there. Damn it. The giant... There's a giant cave where the water is coming from. I thought it was going to be like some kind of secret. Wait, what? Arachne? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a dragon. Can you give me some rewards? Yeah. No holding back. Yeah. Yeah. 
Damn it! Wait, is that like a necklace? It sounds like it. Yeah, what does it give me? Increased burning blades damage by seven. Before, but is that a restaurant or a shop? Are we ever going to be there? No, it has to be farther. Why are there like places so close to each other? Thank you? Oh, wild chocobos! <laughs> oh, fucking bastards! Actually, kind of close. I thought it's gonna be farther, but it's close to the, the, the lost wings. What? What? Come on, go, bitch! That's enough. Stay down. It's over. That's enough. Little bit of setback with the dogs. Screw them. They attacked me first. Self defense. They tell me nothing about that. Oh, they have been the enemies soldiers watching me or something. used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south. It was Give me one of those fresh fish, all from the sea of Christ. Can I answer? I mean, I'm branded, and Jill's not with me. Would they let me go inside alone? The right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Not another step, branded, or you'll be spending the night in a cell. Okay. Oh, I gotta search. How the fuck am I gonna find this person? I don't even know what it looks like. How much for this one? Are you the one? No. That has to be the shopkeeper. Oh, that kind of scared me. Oh, her. A moment, my lady. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time, branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred, Cleontel. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? 
You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the Holy Capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <sighs> you say these are all from Dalmechia? The fruit's not getting any fresher. Are you gonna let my dog in too? <laughs> no one has been talking about him. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Finally. We're at the... Well, not the Empire, but we're close to it. Holy shit! This place is fucking huge! Fuck! Well, in this area... Is this actually an open area or is it just like showing to me? Well then, I suppose we And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary.
Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Why does it sound like she's trying to make it like the most important thing in the whole kingdom or something like that? Like a secret base or something. <laughs> the way he said she said it. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. I should probably start here. I'm getting like so many like things, you know, like 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 envelopes or whatever they give me, a card, I don't know what they give me, like like to make people identify that I'm their ally or something. Let's see the side quest. Excuse me, you there, the gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant. Though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Okay. E Suspicious. Suspicious motherfucker. Ah. Are you fucking shitting me? I gotta talk with Sergeant's the knight. Got it in for us two. As if either of us needs to brush up on our sword craft. <laughs> he wouldn't doubt our sword craft if he'd seen us down the veil last night. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. 
I'm just passing through. I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Do I talk to him? What's his level? He wouldn't be that strong. I have my dog. My dog was sick. Your dog right there. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. It's over. Not that strong. I took down your dragoon. Stay down. Yeah, nothing. So you know one end of a blade from the other. <laughs> he's telling this, told me this when he's on the ground. I'm gonna let you get up, bitch. Who are you? He's still coming at me. <sighs> Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Is he better than his friend? Win the dame's favor anyway. By knowing when to hold my tongue for a start. <laughs> Bitch. Look at the guy right there clapping for me. You're nothing. You got potential. I'll give you that. One more. <laughs> There we go. I best of the soldiers here. They only give me four points. They're weak. Pointless bastards. Can I go now? Gregor's gas. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bulletin he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? Got some money. The upgrade? Level up. 22. Damn it, meteorite again? The Emperor's finest, thrashed by a branded. Sergeant may be a surly bastard, but he had our number, right? Extra drills at his head. I want to know why are the bearers. Heard the bones fell favorably. Well, I know why, but. Is it? What do you like think? How? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin. 
It sounds like the barriers are more stronger than these bastards. They could do magic. They had to get crystals. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraqua society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, simple fare cost little more than a pittance, but to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here. Deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed. Not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless people will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Wait, right here? Is it in here? Oh, uh, it is. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Fuck. Fucking bastard. Her hand and her feet is turning to stone, you son of a bitch. Get out of my forge. If I'd wanted another bear, I would have sent for one. You branded a nothing but a nuisance. Feck the Salotia. God damn. Can't wait to take down this fucking empire. You will. You'll be one of the first peoples I will kill. Ah, oh, you fucking shitting me. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. He's gonna fucking attack him, isn't he? They're using him to do wind. Those fucking lazy bastards. You look like you need a rest. as much as I need this. Thank you. 
I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Now what's gonna happen? Is, is that guy gonna attack his own bearer? I feel like he's going to. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! Jack, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Here. It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? Then wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. Uh, that bastard! Accident, my ass! What do you deserve, motherfuckers? 